Yo, what's good everybody? It's Green Onion here, and today we're going to be making a quick and simple Hot Wheels custom out of this 1964 Hot Wheels Chevy Impala. So, my plan is just to paint this thing matte black. I'm going to leave the paint on, actually. I'm not going to bother removing the paint. I think the matte black would look really cool with these wheels. So this is just a quick Hot Wheels custom. It's going to take me like five minutes to do, well, minus the drying time of the paint. So the first step we're going to do is take it apart and paint this matte black because I want this to, the little details look kind of cool on this car so I want them to sh like show through as like a ghost flame effect almost like that. So I'm going to see what it does if I just paint over matte black with this. So uh, let's drill up the car. I got my cheap rattle can of rust -Oleum camouflage matte black and I got the car body. Let's go ahead and paint her up. So now that the car is drying, I'm going to add some details to the base and to the interior. So here I'm going to use my little Model 2 whatever chrome pen, and we're going to add some details to the front grille, the rear grille, I'm going to chrome these out, I think, the bumpers. And then for the interior, I'm going to make the seats red, because I think that'll look very nice with this car. So I'm going to make the seats red, some red paint, do some extra details in there. And yeah, pretty much. So I think this will mark on black, right? Yeah, this thing is definitely marking on black. <laughs> Why did I doubt it? It's a very nice little pen. I would highly recommend this thing, although it is expensive. You can see there, focus, you can give it some chrome on there. Chrome bumper, that's what we like. I think a chrome bumper would really contrast well with the matte black, so that is why I'm doing it. Apparently a lot of you don't like my custom, so if you disagree, then make your own. I don't give a crap. But anyway, you get the idea. There's somewhat what it's going to look like. I'm going to skip ahead to the end. Alright, as you can see, I got my interior done here in red. Add some little chrome accents too. And then here we got... Oops. Here we got the front body here, we got the grill, with the headlights, oh my gosh, and then the rear bumper. So all that's left to do now, simple as that, just put it together and we're done. So here's what the car looks like so far. I got all the details done in the front here and then the uh, rear I'm going to paint uh, later. But I got the bumpers chrome well, I think it looks really nice. There's the interior, you can see it is red. And you can call this finished right now if you want to, but... I'm going to go ahead a little bit. I actually kind of like these little details you see here in the hood. I don't know if you can see them. They're kind of visible in here. I wanted like a ghost effect, like a ghost flame thing, but upon further like look at this, I don't know, I kind of want to um, hit them with like chrome or something like that to make them stand out in this car a little bit more. Not all of the details maybe, but at least some of them. So I'm going to try doing that. And if it fails, I can always go over it again with some uh, flat black paint. So let's try it doing that. Alright, so here is the 64 Impala fully completed and done at this point as far as I'm concerned. I decided not to add anything to the sides. I don't know, I just felt like the roof uh, was the main port part I wanted to add. So uh, I tried to replicate the stuff that Hot Wheels had in there, I guess, but I added a little thing, a little few things myself because I didn't really like that number 5 that was on the roof. So I just kind of mixed in some random details, I don't know, just some little patterns or whatever that match the rest of the car, but... Uh, yeah, I did it all with the little chrome pen here, the little Molotow chrome pen. I love that thing. It look, works really well for uh, doing little details like this. It can, you can even make like little fine details, as you can see in this car. So yeah, it's very nice. I like the way it turned out, I think. I like the wheels, too. The wheels are nice for this car. we got the white wheels with the black rims. So that's part of the reason why I did this in Mad Blab, is because I wanted those wheels to like stand out a little bit. 
but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little quick little custom. Wasn't much to this, but I think it turned out pretty good for how long I put into it. And this only took me start to finish, just minus the drying time and all that. It took me about maybe, I don't know, maybe like 20, 30 minutes to complete this entire thing. So really didn't take that long. The only annoying part was drawing the designs on the top of the car, which I think actually turned out pretty decent compared to what I usually do. So, oh, this is the Green Onion. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later.